the CBC Evening News with Kevin Evans and Gloria Makarenko, Phil Reimer with weather, Barry McDonald with sports, Peter Granger with the art scene, and Bob Nixon at large. Hey there, it's Friday the 13th. Run for your lives. What's at stake with Francis Ford Coppola's Dracula? A big bite out of your movie butt. Oh. <laughs> and in sports, Friday the 13th proves unlucky for Bob Obilovich. Good evening and welcome to the CBC at 5.30. I'm Gloria Makarenko and tonight we're going to have a little bit of fun with the fact that today is Friday the 13th. We're going to look at some of the fears and superstitions associated with Friday the 13th. And we've got a few props here that we'll have a little bit of fun with later on. Bob Nixon joins us now. Uh, I thought you were going to make your grand entrance coming in under the ladder. Under You're the a little ladder. superstitious? That's, no, not me, not <laughs> me. No, in fact, you know, here you've got this little uh, umbrella that's supposed to... Uh, I didn't put that up. Yes, it's supposed to be very unlucky, you know. Yes. Indoors. Indoors. What else you got here? Holding this, the luck runs out of a horseshoe yes, held this does. way. Yes, it does. And there's even a cracked mirror back a cracked here that we mirror. can't see. Whoa! Now, cracked mirror. we're yes, talking about this being Friday the 13th. Yeah. Friday the 13th is, in fact, a fear. I mean, triskaidekaphobia. Triskaidekaphobia, is yes. Is a fear. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that, you know. Fear fact, of the number 13. I, got our, I went and into our archives people and talked to our archives people, uh, Mark and uh, Colin, and asked them what they could come up with us. And here it is. Friday the 13th, the Squamish Highway. Tons of rocks cascade down the mountainside, bearing good old Highway 99 for a couple of weeks. The cleanup costs thousands. Squamish, Whistler, and Pemberton cut off from the lower mainland. Are you sure about this, Bob? What I do you mean? I remember this story, and it was a Saturday. It was the 22nd. Friday the 13th. Vancouver, the worst ice storm in the city's history, sends hundreds of cars sliding out of control, smashing into each other, causing millions of dollars in damage. Oh, ho, 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 Phil's the name, weather's my game, I gotta tell you, pal, I know this stuff. And you know what? It was Tuesday, November the 19th. That's when the worst storm happened. Get it right, okay? Right, Phil. Friday, the 13th, Burnaby, 22 cars collapse into a supermarket on seniors day no one was injured but the seniors had to find another place to shop for weeks after that all right i admit it it wasn't the 13th it was the 25th but everybody says that the 13th is so unlucky why is that i like to go to reno and um i'm not above carrying my wife's handkerchief when I'm gambling. Anthropologist Jay Powell is a believer. He says the idea of 13 as an unlucky number goes right back to the ancient Egyptians. And he dismisses evidence that shows Friday the 13th is no different than any other day. The scientists and the skeptics are continually saying, Duh, this is a lot of primitive flapdoodle. Don't pay any attention to it because it, it's not really true. So what should you do? Well, my sense is, uh, that, that we are looking at an aspect of our folklore that is a real gift. It puts you in the position of being the skunk at the garden party fairly often. Then I, BC I Skeptic Society head Barry Beierstein is an unbeliever. He looks for proof when people say a disaster happened because of the day it occurred. Where we all uh, are prone to jump to magical thinking is in uh, situations that are threatening, in situations that we cannot predict, where there's a big uh, th uh, payoff involved. I guess as far as Friday the 13th goes, it really depends on whether or not you've got a superstitious or scientific mind. Because really, the facts are, Friday the 13th is no more unlucky or lucky than any other day. Uh, hang on, Bob. Uh, a few years ago, on Friday the 13th, I brought my mom's brand new Honda Civic, and not a block from the house, a thousand kilometers in the car, I smashed it up and, and I totaled it. Get out of here. Gone. And it wasn't my fault, I swear to this day. Well, I stand corrected. You know, Gloria, I, we actually did look for all the Friday the 13th, never found anything terrible that ever happened in B.C. So what do you Until make of that, this? Until that, I don't know. We'll continue with the thing, yes, nonetheless. Yes, next Friday the 13th, two a year. Okay, Bob, thanks very much. 